Like our previous video mechanics, Graham, this video, once again, borrows footage from a United Collegiate Umpires Clinic featuring Major League Baseball umpire Will Little to discuss wedge positioning for plays at third base. Will Little explains the evolving concepts of wedge theory, moving away from the previous point of bag philosophy for wedge positioning at third base. Instead, Will Little uses the track system to explain the keys for using wedge theory for plays at third base. In this example, U3 does not use Will Little's track system. As a result, the runner is between the umpire and the tag attempt, yielding a straight line look at this play. Had U3 jumped on the same track as the fielder receiving the throw, directly behind the fielder and remaining on the fielder's base side hip, the umpire would have been in the wedge between the fielder and the runner and thus averted being straight lined. Notice that the umpire's position puts the runner between him and the tag. This is a difficult viewing angle. The umpire should be in a position to find his 90, which is found 90 degrees straight back from the fielder's outstretched arm as the fielder attempts to tag the runner. Steel plays and back picks into third base happen very quickly, and because of this, our viewing angle is very tight, often making the depth of our pre-pitch starting position the key. In the replay, notice how deep U3 is in his pre-pitch starting position. While he is able to take six steps to position into the developing play, think about how much better of a wedge position he may have been able to achieve had he shortened up his pre-pitch starting position. The umpire in this clip has shortened his pre-pitch starting position, allowing him more time to apply and adjust his positioning to find the wedge in this steal play. On back picks and steal plays at third base, it is likely the fielder receiving the throw will straddle the base. If you remember, at first base, Will Little instructs that if the fielder is straddling first base on back picks, we must jump on the top side. If we apply the top side theory across the diamond at third base, notice that this would likely result in trying to view the play through the fielder, placing the fielder between the umpire and the tag attempt. Therefore, for steal plays and back picks at third base, the inverse of Will Little's prescription is likely to be true, meaning that the best possible wedge look would be on the low side of third base. As such, it is imperative that we take a pre-pitch starting position that allows us to position more effectively given the tight angles and quick developing nature of steel plays and back picks at third base.